Hundreds of giant goldfish are being found in Lake Tahoe. Domesticated fish out in the wild. I wonder how that happened. Hey guys, I'm Lacey Green. Welcome to D News. Goldfish are typically known as a small fish found in home aquariums, but now scientists at the University of Nevada are finding them by the hundreds in Lake Tahoe, and they are monsters, guys. Okay, maybe they're not monsters, but they are really huge for goldfish. These suckers they're pulling out of the lake are up to a foot and a half long and several pounds in weight. Given that they're the same species found in pet stores, scientists think people are dumping pets that they no longer want to care for. But in the wild, they're getting even bigger. There is a misconception that goldfish grow to fit their environment, but their size actually comes down to nitrate in the lake waters and an abundance of protein in their diet. In an aquarium, there's not as much nitrate and they don't get to have a delicious delicious feast of other animals all the time. So their growth is slowed. Now, while the monster goldfish are sort of amusing, the scientists warn that this is serious business. The goldfish, which are mating and multiplying, are messing everything up. They're killing off plant species that help keep the water warm, which puts other species in the lake at risk. Their waste also creates murky algae, which taint the clear blue waters that we all know and love Lake Tahoe for. Ah, hell no, ruining the lake. Man, why would someone dump a goldfish? to begin with. They just swim around and eat fish flakes and smack into the aquarium wall. One study done at UC Davis on fish dumping found that people usually dump fish when they're overactive or if they've grown too big. The giant goldfish in the lake is only the most recent of a series of pet dumping problems across the world. Enormous goldfish have been found in Arizona, Arkansas, Michigan, the UK, France. As many as 11 million non-native animals have been found at the San Francisco and Los Angeles ports, around 100 species in total. People have also been abandoned animals other than fish, like pythons in the Florida Everglades. The snakes get a lot bigger than people are comfortable with, and then they go and set them free. But then, you know, a flood of problems happen. So don't dump your pets. Call the pet dealer instead. They'll help you out. Probably doesn't hurt to do some research and Google how crazy huge pythons can get before buying one, too. All right, guys, if you want to learn more about the pet dumping problem, check out Trace's video on fish flushing. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching D News, folks. We'll be back with more science updates soon.